And of course, we have online the lady with all the information, Gabrielle Gilpin, Hudson, lawyer, Realtor. Good morning. How are you on this beautiful Friday morning? I am so well, Vernon. How are you? Morning. Well, you know, so no matter how me feel down, you know, you have so much pep in your voice and everything, you know. It's like, oh, my sister, you, you are a nice person. I can't husband, hussy. Let me talk to, to the whole nation here. What a lovely woman. <laughs> but I don't know if you're a lovely person. Did she carry you? Come here so I can see you. So she must carry you. Come here one day. Both of you join me in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah, I you're will. Me terrible. Invitation. Me a you know. <laughs> so what's on your mind this morning? What's on my mind yes. this morning? So, this morning, what's on my mind is that there are a lot of new laws that are being tabled currently. Really? That are definitely coming up that are going to affect um, companies and yes. small businesses. So, I'm not sure if you know, but there's the Trust and Corporate Services Act. And there is also the Companies Act Amendment Bill. Um, so those two things right now have all of me and all of my lawyer colleagues um, in a bit of a tailspin because we are now in the process of reviewing them to give our comments because, you know, there's a lot of changes coming. Well, let me tell you something. You tell the powers that be, you see? We love all the lawyers. But when they're making changes, it's not just for lawyers. The people of the country must know. Boy, Vernon, you know, and that's the problem. So... A lot of these changes, um, they have affect they, they they affect lawyers definitely, right? So, for example, under the Trust and um, Corporate Services Act, anybody that is doing anything in relation to forming companies, um, transferring shares, shareholders agreements, annual returns for companies, all of these things that small and big companies have to do. Now, if you are going to be providing those services, you need to be registered. Um, but, but here the joke now, the people of the country, if we don't know what is required, then we will probably not know that we must contact a lawyer to, ass, to assist us. And for too long, mm-hmm. our legislators don't seem to understand. Even in the Constitution, they have just about 11 lawyers. They need to understand. You need to put it out there. That's why we need to have civics in the school. The young persons out there in sixth form, they should be discussing these things. I think that the running of the country is only, God knows, must talk about yeah. it. We need a lot more public education. Yes, man. Because also what we need is a lot more public consultation. Yes. Do these things because what is happening now is that these things, the, the, the fees, right? Because so what is happening is everybody that is offering these services, you have a lot of people that, you know, whether they are accountants or they are lawyers um, or just little one-man shops that do these small services for people, business yes. services. Now you have to register with the FSC to be able to do them. And the registration fees are upwards of $500,000 a year. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. So hold on. These things are new or it's just increasing? It's new. It's, 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 it's new. So, hold on, hold on. Um, Hello. Take time with me now. new. Man, you're misleading the information. You know, you said these are new fees? They weren't there before? These are brand new fees. So what happened is... So hold on now. If they are brand new fees... Accountants to do these things as a part of their practice, right? Or even if you had, like, a secretary who was coming to your meetings and taking your minutes and would yes. file your, your annual returns for your company for you. All of these people now, Vernon, they have to be registered with the FSC. My right? God. So so this is coming from the Ministry of Finance um, for us to be compliant because you know they're under pressure. To so hold on, understand. let me ask you something. You're a lawyer, but me a layman, so sometimes me know we disagree. So these new fees, uh, so what you call them? You call them fees or you call them taxes? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess that's a that's a good question. Technically, they're a license fee, but. Really and truly, it's, it, you know... It's, All right, let me tell you something. Me know, me know that the lawyer, they know have full definition. My definition of taxes is any income, benefit, or anything from the people from which a company, the government derived a benefit is regarded or classified as taxation. Whether I want to call it fee, whether I want to call it four, or I want to call it... I didn't get myself into trouble taxation. 
So when you take an organization and you make it become what they call it, you know, executive, <laughs> I love it, you see. And then you charge fees because normally, you know, you would pay the taxes and that organization provide the service. So you move it out of the system, and not really out of the system, but you move it out of central government and you call it executive agency. So, you know, pay. It's tax the same way. So, a good thing in a barn fool, you know. Boy, Vernon, trust me, it's a lot, it's a lot, and what's going to happen is, you know, who is going to take up these costs? The lawyers will have no choice but to pass them on to the country. All right, and what is going to happen? The people are going to say, no, wicked, and they lie to them thief. That's what, they going to, that's what is going to happen, you know. So you make sure that you, the, your, you have an association, right? Yeah, so make yeah, sure that you know there's communicate. A, there's, a, there's an association for... I'm a part of the, the Jamaica Bar Association, which has written about it. And, you know, they definitely were not very happy um, and expressed a lot of concerns because, you know, it's a little bit of a double regulation because we already have to report to the GLC. So where, let me backtrack. And the GLC is a general legal counsel, right? Yes. So, so we are already regulated as a professional. But where this push for extra regulation is coming from is because, you know, Jamaica has been um, greatly speed. Um, as uh, you know, not doing enough for to counteract um, anti money laundering and um, terrorism financing. Yes. So, so they're basically saying that we need to put in all of these changes to ensure that we can be better able to pick up or um, you know report on for people who are using professionals potentially to assist them with um, money laundering and terrorist financing um you know so it, that's where all of this is coming from but you know there's a there's a right way and a wrong way to do things and you have you can't do things like this without public consultation oh you, hello hello do you wrong i mean you can't do it it's happened all the while <laughs> for me for me but until now because guess what i like many of us we don't have no sense so we don't need to when you when you had your um your 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 constitution. They did consult you, nobody what I wrote. No, 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 you know, no, no, no man. So it's just a base. But guess what? You know, probably problem is the people are fast asleep. You see, and when the people are fast asleep, you see, yeah, why you just end time, end time, puss asleep, rat take charge. Mm-hmm. I don't want to bother because I call people rat. Cause no, no, can't put spin pan things already, right? Well, probably there could be rat. I don't know. It's just that I didn't say that. Uh, but you realize that what you're saying now, I guarantee you, I can bet you, many Jamaicans are hearing it for the first time. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I mean, I suppose it definitely affects business people a little bit more. So if you don't have a company or a small business that well, well on, well on. requirements to do these things, then... Me you know, know, for like me a lawyer, I mean, I know nothing, you know. But me I got to tell you, so I want to me know. You know the law, you don't say you've paid. But me I got to ask you something. Where are you going to get the money from to pay it? Mm-hmm. Where are you going to get the money to pay it? You're offering a service. You're going to take it out of your personal pocket and pay it? Mm-hmm. All right. It's a cup for service. So all those who out there slung things are lawyer and big man are going to pay it. You see? You ever hear anything and call more weight? You go to school more weight? Then everybody come and pile up. You're the man. I bought him. I feel the weight. I'm like, come here. You're mm-hmm. a consumer. How are you going to feel the weight? Um, I'm going to ask you to send information to be... Um, so we can look at it because sure, you you I you can send you the link. Yeah, and you are here, you know, and we are using the program now. If you need to use the next program to educate us, because we need to know, and uh, what we need to know is the kind of increased cost that is going to bring about, and it means therefore it might affect the cost of mortgage or any fees or domain, don't probably legal fees is going to affect it. So we need to know. Yeah, man, it will definitely any so right now any any sort of setting up a company. When you go and ask somebody to do it for you, right? So unless some people that set it up for themselves. And there are some situations where, if you know, it's a small enough company. Maybe you can get away with doing it yourself, right? But I generally tell everybody to, to, to get a lawyer to assist you. Because, you should, yeah, man. You know, instead of just trying to do it yourself. But I have to give companies office credit. They have put in the systems in place where you can go and incorporate a company by yourself without paying a lawyer to do it for you, where... You only paying the company's um, office fee. But when you do it on your own, you make a mistake now. I exactly. have to go find a lawyer now. Exactly. So you really do. You really should consult with a lawyer so you know what is what and you're not just doing it randomly. You know what I mean? Um, 
So, so it's, it's you know, outside of that, everybody else that has to pay for this service is going to be affected. Um, it, you know, generally out there, gen- persons in corporate companies for people starting from maybe about um, seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars to do up everything for you from beginning to end. Um, that's going to go up so much now, mm-hmm. right? Because the lawyers have all of these requirements that they need to fill, which, you know, can easily see them having their expenses go up up to a million dollars for the year to be compliant with this new law. But I'm going to tell you something, you know. Let me tell you what is happening to Jamaica. And uh, it's happening sometimes not because of our own doing, but because of international pressure. Yes, that's what I was explaining. What? Because it has to do with the, what do you call it? There's a factor, whatever you call it. It, it, it has to do with, um, you know, the financial um, action task force. Right. They basically have put Jamaica on a grey list. You don't want to be on a blacklist. What happens when you get on these... And by the way, I love that to change. So when you're on a blacklist, it means something good. <laughs> I would love that to change. <laughs> well, I, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yes, so the... When you're on a blacklist, right? Yes. Essentially, it, it, you you are at risk of being excluded from the international financial system. Mm-hmm. Jamaica needs to be able to. We cannot send our wire transfer anywhere in the world without it passing through the United States. And it is a lot of these rules and regulations come through this organization and the states, right. basically requiring us to have all of these reporting things to ensure that um, we are fighting anti-money laundering. And terrorist financing. All right, um, but tell you what I'm going to do. Feel like we're not doing enough to be compliant yes. in that fight. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to set up a anti-gun, anti-gun laundry. <laughs> so we call it. Yeah, we're going to set up an anti-gun laundry. I'm going to put up some rules and regulations and tell all them people up now. Say if you don't do so and so, um, you'll be punished. Mm. So I hope you can join me to fall that anti-gun laundry. <laughs> It's amazing. Well, Jack has to the world on level. So while them can set the law for we, we can set it for them. It's just amazing. Unfortunately, it's a better word. But then, you know, that doesn't mean that we must do things right. And I will tell you, you know, the more we put systems in place, that's the more you, more you increase bureaucracy. And bureaucracy doesn't necessarily mean that the challenge has been, has been moved out of place. It just simply means that we probably persons find more creative way to do what they want to do. You know. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, that yeah. was so. You make sure you send information to me about the links and so on. I will, I will. <laughs> and if you even just I, I think nationwide may have even had a piece on it. Um, no, 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 no. Hello, hello, hello. You're on this station with nobody, with nobody else. <laughs> I'm not, not promoting any other station. All right, so you make sure you get it to us. Yeah, we will deal with that. Sure, Vern. Uh-huh. No problem. All right, so yeah, man. So you have quite a bit more minutes left, so you can. Um, well, really and truly, that's the main thing on my mind today. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I even have, after this, I'm joining a meeting to discuss it um, because it, it really is unfortunate. Even, um, <laughs> so the joke is that the amendments to the companies Act bill, you right. know, they're grammatical, they're even grammatical errors in there, so it begs the question, who is Hello. looking you must talk at rubbish you. Oh, you mean... <laughs> reviewing them. You tell us with all those technocrats and so they have grammatical. No, man, I like me. We put out things now. We, we will have grammatical errors because of me alone. But when you have a big entity like government, you have a kind of qualified person, you tell me that they have grammatical errors in it, really? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hear you. And if, if it has grammatical errors, uh, don't be surprised if there are other errors in terms of the law. And you know, when you have that, you amend and you amend the amendment and what can happen, you know? Mm-hmm. That's the problem, really. Um, and even not that, even necessarily just errors from that perspective, but yes. just things that just are not practical. Mm-hmm. Um, because this is what happens when, I, I don't know, this intellectuals, but when you become too academically centered and you get into yourself and you get into a room, you tell yourself this is how the world operates. Well, you have locked yourself away from the world. You're not really out of the road and no one gone. You know, so and then you're going to make laws 
for persons out there. You have to consult with the persons who are in the field. Mark, we do know that some persons will have their own selfish ends and they want things to suit them. And this is, this is where you, know, you have to do a, a very good balancing act to make sure you hear what the lawyers have to say, you hear what ordinary persons have to say. But based on what you are telling me, it seems that if we, we're going to get collect some new taxes there, here and there, and the people have to pay for it because I'm sure lawyers are going to take money out of them pocket and pay for it. We can't. I mean, if you're a sole practitioner, that's a lot of money a year to just eat. So let me ask you, on a, just roughly speaking, for each lawyer, how much are you thinking of in terms of additional payment? About a million dollars for the year. Unless you're a part of a firm, the firm can register yes. together. So, you know, that would be me and my two partners, there are three of us. The three of us will benefit from it. So the three of us won't be paying that each. Um, but every entity must register under the categories of services that they're providing and um, they must have insurance for that as well. Well, this has, will have an implication for those lawyers who are just leaving law school and mm -hmm. it, it must be burdensome for them to know to find that kind of money in, to, in order to do certain things. It's either that or they just don't practice that area of law. So. You have to decide and say, okay, well, it's not this area of law is not worth um, practicing because of money. No, to so. That's a, it's a decision that each person would have to make. So, you know, for example, if I was on my own and I focused mostly on real estate transactions, yes. mm -hmm. maybe it wouldn't make sense for me to register because I don't do enough company law transactions but once you're doing a lot of company law transactions which my firm does yes then you would have to register or stop what it also means they're talking about a market economy now when you make it difficult and onerous to do certain things and make it costly what you do you automatically wipe out certain persons and then now the kind of competition yeah. that you need to make yeah. the market works um 100 percent. yes you're not going to have that about people that have small businesses Exactly. How are they going to, small businesses, Vernon can already barely afford to get their um, Mi account up. Mr. Minister of Finance, you are no How fool. Are going to afford the yeah. fees? Mr. Minister, you are no fool, but trust me, sometimes what works academically will not work practically. So I'm going to beg of you to so look into this one. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes we sing, there's a hole in the budget, Mr. Finance Minister, there is a hole with what? Shall you fill it? Mr. Finance, no more new taxes, Mr. Finance Minister. Fill it with fees, Mr. Finance Minister. Fill it with fees. <laughs> what a life. Are you slowly? Would you help me sing? No? I don't understand. You think you're on this program for your good looks? Eh? <laughs> no. Okay. What if you do? Text you or something, make joke. What if you do? Because I'm sure. But I hope whatever you guys come up with, you make sure you send me the information, either a voicemail. So that I can hear it. So you are, the, the associations, all your, your presidents need to do, they send me a voicemail and I will play mm -hmm. so we can, you know, it can be heard. Because in the, lo in the long run, the consumers will have to pay. Yep. Right. So. That's correct. Any, for, any other final point you want to make before leaving us? Um, my final point would just be that I would love to see us take a more collaborative approach to these things. We need to have more public education and public consultation just so that, because, you know, the collective mind is better than just a small group of people making decisions that's going to affect everyone, um, you know. So it's very important. And then, you know, we need to think about how these things affect us and if this is okay because it happens because we allow it to happen. Right? Um, so, it's definitely not acceptable. Though. I'm dreaming of a new Jamaica, a land of peace and... Ha! What a thing. Let's dream, but while dreaming, some of us have to act. All right, so keep in touch on that matter. We need to follow that one because that, uh, that one seems to be a big, big thing. That should be probably make the headline news tomorrow. Yeah, and it's in the newspaper from today. I think it's before the Senate. The, the Companies Act is the, um, the bill is before the Senate as we speak. They're mm -hmm. discussing mm -hmm. it in the Senate today. And so by the way, you don't have a problem with the Senate. I never vote for them, you know. We never vote for them. We know they reached and they said it. And the last, we know, we did decide on something and the, 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 the um, legislator did make that decision and they overruled it. We know how they have so much argument. Anyhow, I'm being terrible and awful. The Constitution changed <laughs> all of that. 
Have an amazing day and an amazing weekend. <laughs> and thank you for bringing that bit of information to the nation. You have information to the nation. Poor and I don't know it. Thank you very much, uh, Gabriel Gilpin Hudson. I didn't tell us how to find it. Very quickly, quickly, uh, one second. Visit my website at www.ghrlegal.com. ghrlegal.com. We are Grant Henry and Rooms. Um, attorneys at law. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. Gabriel Gilpin Hudson, lawyer and realtor. You're listening to NMFM coming to you live from Kingston, Jamaica. This is the People's Program Spot On. This is the People's Broadcaster. Vernon Darby saying to you, so come back. Don't move.